hi guys welcome to my steady compass in this video i'll be walking you through the past paper math p1 variant 3 may june 2020 let's get started write 607,021 in figures here is the number written in figures to confirm this, you can type 607,000 plus 21 into your calculator. On the grid, draw a shape that is congruent to shape A. A shape congruent to shape A would have the same shape and size as shape A. Edelgard tries to calculate 68 plus 18 divided by 9 minus 5. She types into her calculator 68 plus 18 divided by 9 minus 5. Explain why this does not give Edelgard the correct answer. This is because she did not put brackets around 68 plus 18 and 9 minus 5. Without the brackets, the calculator would carry out the division operation first, which would lead to a wrong answer. Work out the correct answer to 68 plus 18 divided by 9 minus 5. When we type this into the calculator, we get 21.5. A train from Woodton to Northley takes 6 hours 25 minutes. The train leaves Woodton at 19.46. Work out the time the train arrives at Northley. To get the arrival time of the train, we add 6 hours 25 minutes to its departure time which was 19.46. Under the minute column, 46 plus 25 is 71. 60 minutes is 1 hour, so we add 1 to the hour column and leave the remaining 11 minutes under the minute column. Under the hour column, 1 plus 19 plus 6 is 26. 24 hours is 1 day, so we add 1 to the day column and leave the remaining 2 hours under the hour column. Under the day column, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. The 1 we have means the train arrives the next day at 2.11. Write down the number that is 7 more than negative 38. To get this number, we add 7 to negative 38. This gives us negative 31. Simplify. 5w plus 3h minus 7w plus 8h. When we group like terms, 3h plus 8h is 11h. 5w minus 7w is minus 2w. Write down the mathematical name of a quadrilateral that has rotational symmetry of order 1 and 1 line of symmetry. The quadrilateral with these properties is a kite. Reflect the shape in line L. First, we need to reflect each of the vertices of the shape in line L. So for this point on the shape, since we move one unit to the left to touch the line of reflection, we also need to move one unit to the left from the line of reflection to pin the new position of the point. We need to repeat the same process for the rest of the vertices on the shape. When we are done, we are able to map out the reflected image of the shape. In the diagram, AB is parallel to CD. Find the value of X. Give a geometrical reason for your answer. These two are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are equal, so X is 72. Work out the value of Y. Give a geometrical reason for your answer. Angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. So we have y plus 135 plus 72 plus 88 equals 360. When we make y the subject, we get y equals 65. From this list of numbers, write down a multiple of 8. A multiple of 8 in the list is 32. 8 times 4 gives us 32. Write down a square number. A square number in the list is 36. 6 squared gives us 36. Write down a prime number. A prime number in the list is 37. It has only two factors, one and itself. 
A circular garden has diameter 11.4 meters. Draw the garden accurately using a scale of 1 cm represents 1.5 meters. Using the given scale conversion, 11.4 meters maps to 7.6 cm. To draw the circular garden, we need its radius, which we get by dividing 7.6 cm by 2. This gives us 3.8 cm. So now, we measure the width of our compass to be 3.8 cm. Stand at a point and construct a circle. On a map, the distance between two towns is 9.6 cm. The scale of the map is 1 is to 50,000. Work out the actual distance between the two towns in kilometers. Using the given scale, we want to find the actual distance between two towns whose distance on the map is 9.6 cm. This is what we are calling x. When we cross multiply and make x the subject, this is what we get. Our final answer needs to be in kilometers. So to convert 9.6 centimeters to kilometers, we divide by 10 raised to the power 5. When we type this into the calculator, we get 4.8 kilometers. Triangle ABC is isosceles. Angle ABC is 32 degrees and AB equals AC. Find angle BAC. Base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. The sum of the angles in triangle ABC must add up to 180 degrees. So we have angle BAC plus 32 degrees plus 32 degrees equals 180 degrees. When we make angle BAC the subject, we get angle BAC equals 116 degrees. A bag contains yellow balls, pink balls, and green balls only. The ratio yellow balls is to pink balls is to green balls equals 7 is to 3 is to 5. There are 42 yellow balls in the bag. Work out the total number of balls in the bag. We've been given the number of yellow balls in the bag to be 42. This means the ratio share for the yellow balls, which is 7, divided by the total ratio of 7 plus 3 plus 5, which which is 15 times the total number of balls, which we are calling t, is equal to 42. When we make t the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 90. On any day, the probability that Marcus will get a seat on the school bus is 0.93. Write down the probability that he will not get a seat on the school bus today. The sum of the probabilities that he will get a seat or not get a seat must add up to 1. So to get the probability that he will not get a seat, we subtract 0.93 from 1. This gives us 0.07. There are 200 school days in a year. Work out the expected number of days in a year that Marcus will not get a seat. To get this number, we multiply the probability that he will not get a seat, which is 0.07 by 200. This gives us 14. Simplify p squared times p raised to the power 4. Since the terms have the same base and they are multiplying, their powers add. So we have p raised to the power 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. So we have p raised to the power 6. Simplify m raised to the power 15 divided by m raised to the power 5. Since the terms have the same base and they are dividing, their powers subtract. So we have m raised to the power 15 minus 5. 15 minus 5 is 10. So we have m raised to the power 10. Simplify k cubed or raised to the power 5. The powers of k multiply. So we have k raised to the power 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So we have k raised to the power 15. Describe fully the single transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. 
When we look at shape A and its image shape B, we can tell straight away that this is a rotation 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. Now we need to identify the center of rotation. For a 90 degree rotation, the way to determine the center of rotation is this. We connect at least two corresponding points on both shapes. Then we draw the perpendicular bisector of the lines. The intersection point of the bisectors is the center of rotation, which in this case is the origin. And so the description for the transformation is rotation 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Without using a calculator, work out 3, 1 over 4 minus 2, 2 over 3. You must show all your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. First, we need to convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions. For 3, 1 over 4, we have 4 times 3 plus 1, which is 13, divided by 4. For 2, 2 over 3, we have 3 times 2 plus 2, which is 8, divided by 3. The LCM of 4 and 3 is 12. For 13 over 4, since we multiply the denominator by 3 to get the LCM, we also need to multiply the numerator by 3. So 13 times 3 gives us 39. For 8 over 3, since we multiply the denominator by 4 to get the LCM, we also need to multiply the numerator by 4. So 8 times 4 gives us 32. 39 minus 32 is 7. So we have 7 over 12. A chef buys some cheese from France. 200 grams of cheese costs 3.45 euros. The exchange rate is $1 equals 0.84 euros. Work out the maximum mass of cheese the chef can buy with $150. Give your answer in kilograms, correct to one decimal place. First, we need to find the equivalent of $150 in euros, which is what we are calling X, using the given exchange rate. When we cross multiply and make X the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 126 euros. We are told 200 grams of cheese costs 3.45 euros. So we want to find the mass of cheese we can get with 126 euros, which is what we are calling y. When we cross multiply and make y the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 7.3 kilograms, rounded to one decimal place. Sonia wants to invest $5,000 for 6 years. Bank A pays compound interest at a rate of 3.5% per year. Bank B increases the $5,000 by 22% at the end of 6 years. Which bank will give Sonia the most money at the end of 6 years and by how much? You must show all your work in. To get the amount Bank A will give Sonia at the end of 6 years, we need to apply the compound interest formula. Big A represents the final amount of money she will receive, which is what we are finding. Small A represents the amount she wants to invest, which is $5,000. R is the annual rate, which is 3.5%, and T is the time duration in years, which is 6. When we type this into the calculator, we get $6,146.28, rounded to the nearest cent. The amount she will receive from bank B is equal to the amount she wants to invest, which is $5,000 plus 22% of $5,000. This gives us $6,100. Comparing the values of Bank A and Bank B, we see that Bank A will give Sonia more money. When we subtract $6,100 from $6,146.28, we get $46.28, which means Bank A will give $46.28 more money. By rounding each number correct to one significant figure, estimate the value of 71 times 32.4 divided by 4.8 squared. You must show all your working. 
for 71, the first significant figure is 7. The number after 7, which is 1, is less than 5. So we maintain 7. And the number after 7 becomes 0. So 71 becomes 70, rounded to one significant figure. For 32.4, the first significant figure is 3. The number after 3, which is 2, is less than 5. So we maintain 3 and the numbers after 3 become 0. The zeros that come after the decimal point are insignificant. So 32.4 becomes 30, rounded to one significant figure. For 4.8, the first significant figure is 4. The number after 4, which is 8, is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 4, giving us 5. The number after 4 becomes 0. Since this 0 comes after the decimal point, it is insignificant. So 4.8 becomes 5, rounded to one significant figure. 70 times 30 is 2100. 5 squared is 25. 2100 divided by 25 gives us 84. This thinks of two numbers. Find the two numbers. Let's call the two numbers x and y. We are told the sum of his two numbers is negative 6. So we have x plus y equals negative 6. We are also told the difference between his two numbers is 62. So we have x minus y equals 62. Now we can solve the simultaneous equations to find x and y. Let's use the elimination method. We want to eliminate y. Since we have y in equation 1 and minus y in equation 2, we can eliminate y by adding equation 1 to equation 2. This gives us 2x equals 56. When we divide both sides by 2, we get x equals 28. Now we can plug in the value of x into any of the equations to get y. If we pick equation 1, we have 28 plus y equals negative 6. When we subtract 28 from both sides, we get y equals negative 34. A solid cylinder has radius 3 cm and height 4.5 cm. Calculate the total surface area of the cylinder. The total surface area of a solid cylinder is equal to the area of its curved surface, which is 2 pi r h, plus the area of the two circles at the top and bottom, which is 2 times pi r squared. The radius r is 3 cm and the height h is 4.5 cm. When we type this into the calculator, we get 141 cm squared rounded to three significant figures. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Bye guys.